Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, welcome and welcome cross watchers. We're going to be taking a look at what is manifesting for you in this moment, what's happening in your situation with you and the person that is on your mind. Whenever you come across this reading will be the right time for you to see it. And as always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. You can always take a look at your other placements. That's always an option for you. And if you are interested in personal readings, I leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. Okay. What's going on for Sagittarius? Ooh, I'm seeing that in the past here, from what I'm seeing, you had options, but there was one person in particular that you had your eye on or you couldn't get off your mind. I'm seeing that you made a choice to be with someone or to choose someone. Um, I see that in the past you've been, you've, you've been in a place where I see, I'm seeing there's been two people. Okay. So I'm getting queen of cups and queen of wands. You've had two options. Or maybe for some of you, two X's. Um, but there was there was one choice that you ended up making. There's somebody who in the past was making you really happy. I'm seeing happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Someone that you felt uh, a burning passion for. But not just that. You had very deep, deep feelings for this person here. I'm seeing that there was a new opportunity or new offer that was given to you here, Ace of Pentacles. Um, this was something solid. I see that this was the start of an investment, the start of something starting to grow, something solid, something that has the potential for some, something that you saw potential in that can go the distance okay so let's take a look at you right now what's going on right now for Sagittarius what's happening for Sagittarius Six of Pentacles. Okay. And Two of Wands. I'm seeing that there's something that you haven't taken action on or you're currently not taking action on that I see that you're making some plans about. And it has to do with taking action towards a person it's like you're gaining, you're trying to gain power to do, to take this action, to move forward. Because I'm seeing you're making plans because you don't want to, you, you're not trying to be reckless moving forward. I'm seeing that it's like you're not trying to play games. But I, I get that there's something or that you're giving your energy, um, something that you're giving yourself to. Or you're giving to someone. Six of Pentacles. Uh, I see that there's been a, a breakup or a separation also. So we have the axe, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. You're in a separation or in a silent treatment or for a few, you've broken up with someone 
and you're planning to take action towards someone else. Could be this King of Wands here. But you you want to you want to plan it out because you're trying to plan things out with integrity is what I'm hearing. So you, you want to give to this person is what I'm seeing. You want to give yourself to this person, your energy, time, investment, your love. But there's certain steps that I see that you're you're planning and you're trying to take so that it goes smoothly. Because I see you're not trying to rush into this. Or you're not just trying to rush into rush towards this person all crazy. You want to do so with integrity. So let's take a look at the person on your mind. If you don't have anyone on your mind, this is just someone who's in your energy field. Oh, that was fast. Okay. They see you as the they see you as you are starting to grow a spark with someone new or something new in your life is the way that they're viewing you. I see currently this person is um, trying to focus on themselves or seeing focus on self, self-indulgence, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. But they feel like there hasn't been any justice. They feel like something wasn't fair to them. Something was unfair that led to a breakup or a disconnect here. Two of Cups reversed. And I see them wanting to take action towards you. But it's coming from a place that is unsettled. Coming from a place where it's like they have so much to say to you. They're feeling triggered. From what I'm seeing, this person is feeling triggered because the way that they're seeing you is that you already have a new spark or a new flame. And they're coming towards you very direct. Very direct. They want to tell you what's been on their mind because they feel like this is this wasn't fair or something wasn't fair to them. They weren't they weren't fair. Two of Cups reversed in their intentions is that they don't intend for things to be a relationship again, but they want to get their point across. They're coming off very uh, upset, let's just say. <laughs> So let's get a look at to the near future for you, the Sagittarius. Near future for Sagittarius. Okay, two of wands, there's a decision that you're making, I'm seeing that there's a lot of lust, a lot of lust in the near future, we do have kisses, so we do have unconditionally loving, giving or receiving affection, falling in love, there's someone who you're starting to fall in love with. But I see that there's a lot of passion, naughty thoughts between you and this person. But at the same time, um, there's, there's there's something that you're you're struggling with, feeling left out in the cold or ignored or not being seen. It's like someone isn't giving what you're trying to give or not giving the same as you're giving it's not equal the risk the the what's it called it's not reciprocal what the amount that you're giving compared to like what they're giving to you 
And I'm seeing this is something that's bothering you because it's like you're falling in love with this person, but you're wanting more from them. There's a lot of passion, though, in chemistry between you two. You feel like... You feel so strongly towards them, but at the same time, you're starting to feel also that it may not be too good for you. It's like that forbidden love. Forbidden, you know? It's like just chocolate. You just love it so much, but you can't overindulge. Or you're just not getting enough of it. So let's get a look at your outcome. Okay. I'm seeing in the outcome. There's something that you're feeling trapped in your head about stuck in your thoughts or trapped in I see you really in your head feeling like you're really in your head because nine of cups is like you're not getting the wish fulfillment that you wanted and a partnership or a connection or someone that you feel connection with isn't really working out I'm seeing that you're going to end up letting go because it's not equal. You're putting in more effort than what you're receiving in return. I'm seeing soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. I see that you're really in your head about things because you may feel like this is a soulmate, but if at the same time, it's not it's not running smoothly. I'm hearing plan B. It's like plan A that wasn't your choice anymore. You went to plan B, but then plan B doesn't work. So what's next? What's next is you're making an, a whole new plan. I see that you're being you're being led to free yourself. Led to let go of a challenging situation even if that means letting go of someone that you felt a very strong connection to because you're not being fulfilled so i'm seeing libra here let's take a look at your Specifics and details for you all. Okay. You may be planning a travel, traveling to see someone, or there is something about travel you could be traveling or you met someone while you were traveling I'm, I am getting that in the past somebody was trying to court you um, but you had a breakup or a separation with this person I do see that there's someone who you have a past life connection with who I see you kind of uh, planning to see soon or there's some sort of plans to see each other. This is something from a past life. I'm seeing blonde females or someone who has red hair, redhead. Let's get a few more cards. Is there anything else that we should know uh, for Sagittarius moving forward? Moving forward, I'm seeing there's a time for healing. I see you uh, moving into a, a place where it's finally going to be the time to heal parts of yourself. Um, 
that have not been totally healed shadow work healing from things from the past or things that are currently in your life that aren't working out for you or you're going to be viewing as not really working out it's going to be a time for healing to to recover your commitment is being tested so i do see that you're really you're really focused on something you're, tr you're working really hard to it and you feel like you're being tested. It's because you are being tested. This is something from a past life. This is a test. Um, I see that there's a new beginning for you where you're going to make a move. You're going to take action towards towards this new new beginning. All right. So with that being said, this is what I'm seeing. If it resonated, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching.